Hey everybody, it's your girl Miss V coming to you from Lake Apopka, Florida. It is slightly chilly out here today. Had um wow guys, we made it to December 2023. Um uh, what a year it has been this far. We still are not done. So what are you guys' goals for the rest of this month? I know we always talk about finishing strong. Um, because we do still have some year left and a lot that we can accomplish. But I think my main focus for 2024, I've decided, is going to be, I have a three-year plan to be debt-free. So by the time I'm 55, I want to be debt-free. And that is my goal. Um, very doable. I just have to cut corners wherever I need to cut corners. And I'm really good at that. You can just ask my family. Um, you always have those unexpected expenses come up and 2023 has had a lot of unexpected expenses, especially, you know, being a homeowner. Those of you out there that are homeowners, you understand that it's becoming harder and harder to own homes, um, especially well in the state of Florida, I should say, because the way things are structured, investors are buying up everything. So if you're able to get your hands on some property, do it do it do it do it but I'm praying that you guys um, can b remain focused chase your goals and dreams with wild abandon remember that no dream is too big actually you should make those dreams so big that you have to grow into the person that's going to accomplish them I have yet to become the person that I need to be to achieve all the goals and dreams that I have for myself. And the ones, it's more important though, that the goals and dreams I have align up with God's will for my life. So right now, it's whatever God's will is for my life. I have things that I desire, but I know what God chooses for me is going to be the best. Because he always wants the best for us, right? Like we want the best for our own children. Why would God want anything less than that for us? So I want you guys to have a blessed and awesome week. This year is moving quickly. We're in the last, we're in the home stretch, guys. So go ahead, figure it out what it is that you want. Make those goals, write them down. Write them down. Put them on, have them on your heart, have them in your mind, always in the back of your mind. Every day, even if it's just one small thing, do one thing that's going to get you closer to that goal. I promise you will not regret it. That is what keeps me going every day. Wanting a better life for not only myself, but for my family and my loved ones. But living a life of purpose on purpose that is in alignment with God's will for my life. I've had some new people come into my life this year. I have others that have left, but I am thankful for all of you. The experiences, the lessons, and the blessings. But I know greater is coming. I'm ready to step into my next. You guys have a blessed and beautiful night and week, and I will be back to talk to you again soon. This is your girl out. Peace, love, and blessings. Bye.